How you doing, Morg? My brother of another mother. Are are you ready for me? <laughs> are you able to go out into the deep, Morg? Are you willing to have me at the bait? Could you win that one, Morg? Mr. Morgan Knight. Mr. Morgan Knight. Hmm. Mr. Morg Morgan. Morgan, you know, uh, call me, 226-975-0707, call me, and any Hyperion wants to call me and be nice, call me, don't call me, collect now, and you can send me a letter too, armageddon.owsley at gmail.com, armageddon, A-R-M-A-G-E-D-D-O-N dot O-W-S-L-E-Y at gmail.com, I think you're all gutless, I think all you Hyperians are wanting to be fools, not wanting to listen to the revelation that we're in trouble unless this world becomes more loving, and it's got frig all to do about religion, it's got to do about the evil hearts of man choosing, rationalizing why it's okay to be unloving people, son of a bitches, why it's okay to be unloving, unkind, on this, on that, all just... Just a road rage all the time, just because everybody hates each other, nobody trusts everybody, everybody wants to look under demon for demons for under rocks, and they're just smelling some really shitty stuff, and it's coming from their own upper lip because they've been uh, sucking the tit of a cow that the milk went rancid long ago because the cow is dead, and they don't even know it. The cow has been dead for a long time, and God says, if you will not embrace that which glorifies my house of love, I will put in your face diarrhea shit dung crap pie like daniel says it'll go down your throats like a chocolate milk slushy but it's going to stink as it come out your ears and your nose it's going to be disgusting so the lord god says don't fall on the rock uh, the rock will pulverize you to a powder uh it's time to fall upon the rock and say to the flood of love coming this way say to that flood to stop in the middle of your dried up gorge he will not obey you he's going to rip up all of your dead trees in your valley all by the root and you will have no root or branch left to hold on to but the daniel here myself his messenger of malachi 3 1 i don't need 117,000 people like uh subscribe Subscribers like uh, what's his face, Dr. David Awar. I don't need that. I need millions of people to start listening to this guy, or we will be destroyed. And I got sh sh shocking, stammering lips, and I don't give a flying frig about that. Because the truth is, I'm going to come out there and bop everybody on the beeper uh, that's not paying attention. I got to scream at them maybe and wake them up. Because if people will not listen to me, we have nothing but death ahead of us the bible tells us so and people don't want to believe for a second that there will be no birds no fish no mankind left upon the planet in these days that are exactly like the days of noah people get get with the program get real get uh get a life get a grow a brain grow some balls even or call me or just uh, come forth as a coward you can't say nothing to me i can't say nothing to you i love you i love all people i love all you hyperians even though you're all wixing your merds up like hell but the truth is we're all going to be homeless very soon these are the days of world war z and the great bear has hearing the words now you may go eat all the flesh that you would like daniel 7 5 and he no one caught it except me he's now not chewing on three ribs anymore now he's chewing on four uh, he just uh, had a new area croissant and uh, uh, so but he's been chewing on three ribs for some time now Crimea Donetsk and Luhansk and uh, so but now it's growing in, in Poland you're next I hate to tell you but uh, this is what uh, I'm sensing if things do not turn around because Putin now the Antichrist of uh, the Bible is he. He is the king of the north of Daniel 11. In the latter days, it is written, it says so, that he would invade the king of the south and then lose and then go back to Moscow and then come back again like a Pac-Man. Death, death, death. Until Zechariah comes forth, that prophecy where 
our eyes will consume away in the socket, tongues consume away in the mouth, and flesh consume away as we stand there. And then in those days of these latter days, there will be seven horny women for one horny man. Morg, I think you better change your uh, persuasion because uh, uh, if you move over to Europe especially, uh, uh, you could be have your world rocked a lot more if you get away from the other sex. And I'm not condemning you if you're bisexual, Morg. I don't care that you put on uh, dresses and stuff like that. That's fine with me. You are under no condemnation at all, and none of you are, even if you're gay, even if you're straight. It doesn't flip and matter what we are. It's never been about us, lest any man boast. It's been about the love of God for all of us equally. Now we'll come to shattering of the power of the holy people, Daniel 12, 7, because God's word was only closed until the time of the end, Daniel 12, 9. What I am preaching is gospel truth, everlasting gospel truth, because I am the writer of the everlasting gospel. I am the one who is not playing around like more. <laughs> people, if you will not vote me as world leader, this world will not even exist anymore unless the hearts of the fathers turn to the children, total oblivion of earth. Jesus said the same thing, that unless his word is allowed to go forth anew uh, because of his message of Malachi 3, 1, then this world could not be saved and all of us, uh, all flesh could not be saved because everything that he says, the opposite is true too. Only God's word can cut these days short. And how is he doing it? through me. I am Elijah, and he's saying to all people of love, I am your Lord. You are my people. I love you, and I forgive all your iniquity. Sending Satan to the pit for 1,000 years immediately, because he has been the accuser of the brethren day and night before the Lord, accusing us of all of our sin, saying, did you hear about that guy, Morg? No more. <laughs> to the pit with him, Daniel 12, 1. For in these days, I am Daniel, who arises to embrace my destiny as Elijah, and I've known my identity for 30 years. That's why I've written 200 books, and that's why I have 12,000 videos so far. I'm just starting. Oh, can't even turn off my camera. So I'm not gonna try. I was just gonna say one last thing. Morg, you are a gutless coward if you will not respond, and because Oh, I turned it around. <laughs> I thought, okay, so there I am again. Morg, I love you. You're a brother of another mother. I don't condemn you. If you're loveless, then you would condemn yourself. But one thing for sure, every single follower of yours that sees this video is going to know that you're a gutless son of a, if you will not respond to my challenge of a debate, because then you're hiding. And if you want to hide, I'm going to inundate your uh, channel with my videos people will come looking for you and they're going to see me all over the flipping place this has always been planned to the, since the beginning and the lord is going to do the same thing with the false elijah of this world but i don't need a hundred thousand i don't need ten hundred thousand i need millions standing behind me because if we do not, if the world will not stand behind the crystal mountain and look up to the great white throne where our majesty of majesties has sunk his sickle in for the harvest. This is the days of the harvest and it's time to gather the wheat. And the wheat and the tares can never grow together anymore. The wheat comes with me and the tares will stay behind to be burned along with Morg and all the rest of the idiots who won't accept love's truth. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Bye.